We're back. And we're back with the big one. Today is the quarterfinals of the Burks and Bucks Cup. Not just your ordinary quarterfinal today. We're against the team rife in history in the Sunday League. Masters FC. They've been there, they've done it, they've got the t-shirt, they've won this cup. Obviously we're on our de debut season, into the quarterfinals. We've got a great squad today. Feeling confident as I always am. For me it's business as usual. Physical, straight in, minute one. This is set up to be a in Belter, trust me. We're hearing like there's going to be 100 plus people here. Big turnout. It's going to be big turnout. Mission Abbey, basically. Okay, go. JC. Oh God, what's happening? What's that? You good? Hey, right, team of the year. Come on, brother. Hey, come on. Chew on, bad bones. Chew on. If I get food, I chew on. Chris gonna hold it like a book. Hey. Ah. Hey, man, man's back out here. You get me two goals last game. We say, hey, run. Everyone like YouTube, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up yeah, all yeah. of you? Hey, Rob, you see that? No single song. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Gaffer. Yes, son. How are you feeling? Good. Confident, relaxed. Business as usual, as I said. Got a great squad today. Let's just have a look at it. I mean, it's just different class. A lot of boys experience in winning a cup. I think that's what's the edge today is experience. Where masters have had their history of winning games, winning cups. I think a lot of that comes down to their physicality and other teams' experience, maybe. So it's all about playing smart football, using the IQ that all the boys have got, and uh, seeing past the aggression on and off the ball. So smartness today. Yes, people, welcome back to another episode of Great Britain United FC. And this week we have another big one. As you can see, we are back at Bisham Abbey, back at our home pitch, and we have a cup quarter final. This the Burks and Bucks Cup, and we have local team Masters FC. Masters used to be in the Wickham uh, County League, however they did get moved over to the Slough League so even though a lot of the boys on their team are from the local High Wickham area, they do play in the Slough Leagues and they're a tough opposition, tough side, a lot of people saying this will be our toughest game so we're expecting a big one um, but yeah hopefully the boys can do the job, make their way into the semi-final but without much further delay make sure you like, subscribe Turn on them notifications and let's get into this week's episode, man. Quarter final, Burks and Bucks. Uh, big game, like every game. We're playing Masters today. Let's not take anything away from the fact that they've been around the block for f***ing donkey's years. They've been there, they've done it, they've won the Wickham League, they've got moved to the Thames Valley League, they've won that, they've won cups, but it means nothing because we're better. Um, our advantage today is our experience and our IQs, I think. They're notorious for playing physical on and off the ball. We're much smarter than that. Let's use it to our advantage. Um, let's get in their heads from the first second. I don't want to see a bottle challenge. I don't want to see anyone late for a second ball. Straight in from the off. Um, we're playing 3-5-2. At the back, Aaron Jewell on the left side. Rom in the middle. Dev on the right. Left wing, Rob Gerrard. Harry Grant. Milo in the 10. Charlie and Uzi on the right and Brendan and Keir's up top. Um, physicality boys, minute one. We're not, the reason these like win games is because of how physical they are and they bully people <coughs> off the ball. We're not here to get bullied. Every single one of us knows that, so yeah, Sat. Yeah, no, just on that point again, yeah, just be strong, physical. Don't play the occasion, because we're better footballers than them. Yeah, just play your game and I guarantee we win this game nice and easy, yeah? Boys, let's go, yeah, minute one. The ref's whistle gets us underway. Masters kick us off back at Bisham Abbey. Not on the grass today. We're playing on the 3G. The grass was unavailable. I think it's had too much action. It's GB just get a touch on the ball. Milo trying to play a killer ball early. It's just cut out by the Masters defence. Kiz clears it up, gets out wide to Uz. Uz plays it back inside to Milo. He's looking for Kiz again, can't quite find him. 
new sign in there. Number 18, Charlie. Shouts out, Charlie. We're in big things as he tries to find Kiers. And I think he's found him. It's a mistake from the Masters defence. He sweared. Oh, it's blocked off the line. Rob Jard there at the back stick. GB there with an early chance. His Masters get on the ball. This tool number six in midfield. Just winning the foul off Milo there. But the rest played advantage. And it's a... Little ball over the top to their number nine, Froggy, I believe. A lot of the punters on the sideline saying that well this is the man to watch. His first game back in 18 months, but dispossessed there by the GB defence as Rob Gerrard gets on the ball, looking for B, Brendan there. But B just tackled by the Masters defender there. We're off. <laughs> Good start. Couple of chances, early chances. Debutant Charlie with a nice ping over the top, finds Uzi. Cuts back, great first touch. He's stepping, he's beat his man. He's got a ball in, but just a bit too much on it. Finds his way to Masters player. Is he there just showing what he's got in the locker early doors? Is the Masters man a bit of footwork, but Harry Grant's not having it, and it falls back to Milo, who's looking for Kears, and he finds Kears, who gets it back at White. Is again, can he beat his man? Yes, he can. Can he get a ball in? He's having a shot. Good save. And it's cleared by the Masters defence. Yeah, left, uh, left back's getting sub at half time, I think. Yeah, he's getting roasted. Sachi there calling for the full back to get subbed off as Froggy wins a foul for Masters. Early trouble for the left back there, as we saw. Uzi's got plenty of tricks in the locker. Back doing the dirty work there. Big Dev clearing his lines as well. He's not clearing his lines, he's picking a pass. He's found killer keys. What can the killer do? He's trademark step. Is he having a go? Don't mind it on target. It's that trademark step from Kiers. Steps in, cuts in. It's nice. It's good work, Kiers. Good start to the game. Nice tempers. Quam on Masters there. Just nutmegs the GB man. Didn't quite see who it was. Froggy tried to get a shot away. Not enough on it. The gaffer there, Mr. Ollie Britton, looking a bit f stressed. Focus probably. It's, this game means a lot to the club. First season, first cup quarter final under our belt. His masters on the ball. And they've looking up, they found a ping. The midfield man, Gary, shouts out Gaz. He's found Froggy. Froggy! 1 0 Masters. He's letting Big Dev know. Yeah, I, I said early doors, he's supposed to be the danger man. He's given Masters the lead there. A composed finish. Great ball over the top from Gary or Masters there. 1 0 down. Early on. Classic GBU. Not worried. Not worried. We go again. GBU get us going again as Masters danger man Froggy gives them the lead. 1 0 to Masters early on. Can GB fight back? I believe in the boys. There's big Roms there. Shouts out Romario. My my namesake there, finding Killer Kears down the wing. What can Killer Kears do here? Looking for options. Coach Craig Tenham, get up quicker. Rob Jard, I think he's having a go. I think the keeper saved it there. Shouts out the keeper for Masters. Luke Gibbs, I believe. Quam looking for Froggy. Froggy challenging with Big Rom there. A bit of Archie Bargy in there. A foul for GB, unneeded from Froggy there, really. But Masters are still coming forward. They're giving the boys a good game. Here's Froggy on the ball again, looking for support. Can he find the number eight? Big Dev out to the danger. It's falling to the number six. Masters just controlling possession, but Milo gets a foot in, and it breaks to Rob Jarrod, who's looking for B. What can B do here? He beats his man through the legs, I think. Oh! Could have gone down there, I think, but he's... Oh! It's hard to really make out what's going on there, but I've seen people go down there and get penalties. But B is an honest man. Doesn't want to dive, doesn't want to cheat. you got to respect it. Is Froggy just giving Roms a problem there. Gets it to his number eight, who's looking for Froggy again. He's found him. Great little dink through. The boys recovered well. Great block from Harry Grant there. Number 11 wanted to go, but it's not great. Easy for the keeper. Mm. How are you feeling? What's your thoughts? I'm not worried, man. These are dead, man. You reckon just early nerves? Yeah, they're excited. The game will open up and uh, the fitness will show through, man. 
We just need to get high up the pitch and keep the ball better, man. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Early doors, isn't it? Prince just letting the, the punters know there's nothing to worry about early doors. His master still lead 1-0, but Rob Jav finds killer keys. Can he do his trademark step and shoot? It's a penalty. Referee! That's got to be a penalty. I've seen, I've seen them all given, actually. Every single one of those challenges I've seen, they've been given a penalty. Uh, Uz on the ball again. He's stepping, he's jinking, he's beat his man. He gets the ball in. Oh, Rob Jad at the back stick. I think it just got taken off his toes there. As the Masters number six gets the ball clear, finds Froggy. Froggy loses out though. And look at that. Charlie in there, big challenge. Kears gets it out wide. Sorry, B gets it out wide to Uz. Uz gives it to B, gets it back. Uz gives it back. It's a goal. It's not a goal, it's hit the bar. Brendan Matthews there, unlucky. Come on, happy with that, oh? Yeah, we've turned it on. Come on. <laughs> GB threatening, still coming forward as Harry Grant finds Milo in the pocket. Milo twisting, turning, gets it out wide to Uz. Uz turning back on his man, what can he do? Gives it back to Milo. Evades the challenge, I think he's gone down there. Looking for one there, trying to buy the penalty. The ref's not going to have it, but GB get the ball back. Yeah, GB, man, they're playing well, playing good, but Masters, they're a tough team. A lot of teams we face this season have come to the game already beat as Masters try and get a second, but yeah, GB just clear their lines, but yeah. As I say, many teams come to, to Bisham Abbey and they're already beat, but Masters, they've come with a game plan. They're very well organised. Rob Jard winning the boys a free kick. Harry Grant and the ball gets out wide to Charlie there. Charlie playing it inside to Uzi. What can he do here? Finds Milo. It's just over his head though. And Masters get a clear face. Cleared straight back to B who's dropped into midfield. The GB boys there, as I say, B just dropping into midfield. It's a very interchangeable system here that the boys are working with. B finds himself. In defence now, he just dismisses that number seven, but he's tried to play it back to the keeps. He's played it to Froggy! How's he missed? Got a score there. I would have put my money on him scoring. I don't know if we can just see that again. I think he's taken it first time, thinking it's got to go in, but yeah, just wide. Unlucky. B gets away with one there. GB nearly gifted Masters a 2 0 leaders. Charlie the engine breaking up play again. I think he's won the ball back at least 10 times already. Uh, he gets the ball again. He drops it to Milo. He's, I thought he was having a go, but he's found Kears. Kears, can he score? Good save. Killer Kears there going close. Milo finding him with a great pick out. As the Masters goalie just gets it upfield. Big Rom's going up for a header. He's won the ball just about, I think. The Masters wing has gone down. Satch loved that tackle. The Masters man just clears it out. As the wing is still down. Big Rob's there. You don't want him running into you. His Masters get a free kick deep in the half. Play it up, but Charlie Mallon in there again. Cleaning up, picking up the ball. Getting it out wide. Gets it out wide to Rob Jardy. Tries to find Kears but can't quite find him. Quam in there doing the dirty work for Masters. Who are still 1-0 up. Still giving the boys a tough afternoon here. Number six getting on the ball, playing it to the left back who's not had the greatest of games so far. Charlie Mallon in there again, just battling, winning the ball back. Harry Grant gets it to Uz. Uz looking for Milo, he's found him. Can Milo get a strike away? He's twisting, he's turning, he gets it across. It's blocked and it's cleared. Number six there, but finds his way to Charlie Mallon. He's like a magnet, Charlie Mallon there, in the middle, just every time, winning the ball back for the boys. And Big Rom's now on the ball. Gets it over to Uzi. Uzi's been terrorising this left back and he beats him again with ease. Cuts in, but he's just shut out by Masters. Very well organised, compact in there, not a lot of room. As Rob's tests his touch out, just about keeps it in. Who can he find here? As he looks for the switch, just about intercepted there before it could find Milo. Oh, what a kick that is from the GB keeper, but it's found its way straight back to Masters. 
I think that's Kwame on the ball. He's looking out wide. But it's just been cut out there, I think, by Azzy Jewel. Azzy Jewel brought down late and behind. Masters now with the resulting goal kick, but it's straight into GB's feet there. Harry Grant gets it to Kiers. Kiers, nice footwork, plays a B. Unlucky. Closed down well by the fullback there. Oh, oh. Go, Kiers! So we're one minute away from the end of the first half. <clears throat> there was a big tackle, and one of the Masters players' knees gone, dislocated. His kneecaps around the other side of his leg. Poor guy. Ambulance has been called. That might be it. I don't know what's going to happen with the game now. Um, hopefully we can play on, but it's all respect for the kids. So let's see. Listen, obviously this football is horrible, shit like that, poor geezer. We're going to carry the game on, there's a minute left of this half. We're doing our talk now, he's going to blow the whistle, we'll switch high straight and we'll carry on. I think we started in typical GBU fashion of late. Slow off the mark, 10-15 minutes. Just as we start building proper momentum, playing good football, this happens, but it's fine, we're in now. I'm going to make some changes in about 10 minutes. I think we're leaving ourselves slightly exposed at the back and in the middle on occasion, especially on the counter. But for now, for me, more of the same. I don't know how they're going to come out of this. Um, Fitness-wise, a 40-minute break's a long time. We're all fit, we're all experienced. Let's just get straight back into it, please. Maybe it's just a bit too slow around the back, a bit too casual. Let's get them moving quicker. And yeah, let's play through the first and let's play. Let's play our football, yeah. Intensity, yeah? Intensity. Come on, boys. Warm your muscles, yeah? Yeah, as the gaffer mentioned there, the game did stop for, I think, about half an hour to 45 minutes, maybe even a bit longer. But unfortunately, one of the Masters players went down under a challenge and dislocated their knee. So we wish that player all the best and hopefully they get well soon. But the game did resume with about two minutes to go the first half. So yeah, let's get back into the game, man. Masters now on the free kick as a result of that challenge. As I say, just a minute left really, the ball goes out. As I say there, the referee's whistle just bringing that first half to a close and yeah, the boys will just switch sides and we'll get straight into the second half. Ref's whistle gets us underway, a bit of a weird game here as you can see the ambulance in the background. Once again, wish that, that player well, hopefully he recovers, he recovers ASAP. But yeah, the second half gets underway straight away. GBU still 1-0 down. Can the boys fight back? It, it seems like, you know, that, that injury might have killed the atmosphere a bit, but the boys are still playing. Masters still want it. GBU still want it. And there's 45 minutes left to, to see who comes out on top and who makes it through to that Bucks and Bucks semi-final. It's Froggy having a go. It's not bad, not bad effort there. Still dangerous, Masters, especially with that man up top, can cause problems at any time. GB still just not finding their passing feet there as Masters continue to trouble. Froggy gets out wide to Quam. Quam on the ball, what can he do? Dangerous man. Beats Rob Jowd, but not quite. Rob there, just staying strong, dispossesses his man. Gives it to Uzi, what can Uzi do? Just keeps it safe, keeps it ticking, gets it to Harry Grant, who, who wants a bit more of an option there. Plays it forward automatically to B. This is great football. Look at the angles, the triangles. And B's marauding down that wing. Who can he find? Cuts it back to Kiers, but he can't quite find him. Milo cleaning up, and he wins a free kick for GBU. Masters now coming forward again. Finds Froggy, but Big Dev just dispossessing him. Harry Grant on the the leftovers gets it into Rob Jowd, who just plays a square to Charlie Mallon, keeping it ticking over to Big Roms. Staying patient, GB not forcing it. As Duarte, who's come on in the second half, beats his man. It looks like a foul to me, but the ref's not having it. He's still going, tries to find Kiers. Kiers has been bundled over there, no foul. I've seen him given. But not today, Duarte battling. Brought down eventually in a free kick for GBU. And this man's going to see a yellow card. I think that was his third foul in about a minute. Milo on the result in free kick. Can he pick out a GB man? It's cleared by the Masters defence. have been very strong, but it's popped back into the danger by Harry Grant. Headed away, headed clear again. And it's beat Rob Jard and Froggy's through one-on-one. -on -one. 
Froggy v Big Dev, what a battle this is. Can Big Dev stop him? He's just shielded him at the minute and he's dispossessed him with ease. The Masters getting the ball forward, but Big Dev dispossessing Froggy again. Harry Grant flicking it forward. He finds Killer Kears. What can the killer do? Oh, what a fake that is. He's beat his man. I thought he'd have a go, but he can now. He's fluffed his lines. It's unlucky. Oh, he's got a score, isn't he? It will come. It will come. Killer Kears unlucky with that effort. I've seen him score them all season. It's unlike him as, as he cuts in and has a shot just wide of the post. It's unlucky, but GBU piling the pressure on, looking positive, not giving up yet. That's not a foul. I thought that was a foul. The punters can't quite believe it. It's Froggy there. You'd think he'd finish, but it's blocked, I think, by Rob Gerrard there. That's poor. That's a foul, isn't That's it? Poor. That's poor, yeah, it's poor. Everyone can see it, but we have to be more aggressive. We've got to work fucking harder. We can't sit there and feel sorry for ourselves. GBU there got a bit unlucky, I think. Should have been a free kick, but they keep playing as Dewart finds himself on the ball again. He's whipping it in and he's found the head of Killer Kids, but it's just not his day so far. It's unlucky. GBU still 1 0 down. What can they do as the throw and goes into the box? Killer Kids got arms all around him. No foul. He drops it to Harry Grant. What a finish. Top bins. Roof of the net, I think. Left footed strike. Pick that one out. Harry Grant there, killer kids and arms all around him, but he drops it off. And look at that for technique. Keeper stood no chance. 1 1, game on here. At Bishop Abbey, as GBU bite back, get a goal back. 1 0 Masters. What can they do? Can they respond? Can they take the lead again? As GBU just win the ball back there, battling with that young Madaweki lookalike out there. He's, he's been playing all right, to be fair to him, but yeah. Masters on the ball, shouts out Gary in the midfield there. What can he do? Just trying to ping it forward, but the GBE defence is just marshalling him there. No way through at the minute. Can GBE get a winner? If it ends as a draw in 90 minutes, it does go straight to Pens. Gary there, think he, he thought he won the ball, but has just won the foul there. But yeah, as I say, this will go straight to penalties. If it ends one all, there's no extra time, so... Ha can the boys get a winner before that? It's a poor cross there from the full back. Masters still coming forward though. My boy Gary charging through the midfield. He's managed to get out to Froggy. Froggy returns the favour. Gary wanted to go, but it's fell to the other man. Just wide. Not a bad chance for Masters there. They're still trying, still pushing. Big Roms now spreading the play, getting out wide to Duarte. What can Duarte do here? Can he beat his man? I think, he, is he going to cut back? He's chopped back. He's giving it to the full back, the debutant. He's found Milo. Milo gets it back across. Keys! Top save. Shouts out the Masters goalie. He's done well there. Good save. Keeper's a joke. Nothing comes from that result in corner. As Masters still push forward, they've not given up. Shouts out Masters, giving us our best game this season. Definitely very competitive. Young Madaweki cutting in. He switched the ball out to Froggy. It's a great touch. What can Froggy do? I think it's called offside. A GBU come forward again then as, as he gets on the ball. Plays it inside. The goal scorer, Harry Grant, he's been everywhere. Supported by his, his midfield partner, Charlie Mallon. He's now out wide on the ball. Waiting for us, he's found him. It's whipped in. It's fell to Milo! Unlucky. Just lost his foot in well into the keeper there. Got a hand to it. But GB, as I say, the pressure is mounting. They're still coming forward. Surely, surely a winner is inevitable. Can the boys find the breakthroughs? Dewart cuts inside with, with meaning, with intent. But he's dispossessed by the fullback who's found his way into the game. Hey, six minutes left, boys. You can Come hear on, the boys. boys on the sideline. I think that might have been me. Six minutes left. And it's fell to Rob Chowd on the edge to Grant. E. Oh, it's blocked. Yeah, six minutes left is really, really the decisive time in the game as Masters come forward. Froggy still running, still putting in the yards, but so is Charlie Mallon. Look at this. This is dog work. Can he win the ball? Of course he can. 
throwing for Masters, what a boy Charlie Mallon is. Quality, surely man of the match as well. So it's really saying impressive the debut. Mate, he's fucking quality. I watched him play yesterday at Flacky and he was like, it was a different game. Come on. Because the pitch was all muggy and stuff. But even then, his work rate is ridiculous. No, he's there one minute winning a tackle and they win the second ball. Yeah, he's by far our best player today. It's Masters getting the ball in the box, but Big Dev just getting that away, no danger. But young madweki has got a foot in and he's tried to have a go. Big Rom's in there, dispossessing. Big Rom's coming out with the ball. Oh, what's happened there? The ref's just seen something. Oh, Gaffer's lost his head. He's not happy with Big Roms. Roms, you're putting the Romario name to shame there. Little kick out. Luckily, the camera's missed it. <laughs> but yeah, Big Roms reduced to 10 men GBU. Free kick for Masters now as Roms just got reeled in by the Masters man there. Kicked out at him. It happens to the best man. Everyone's kicked out once or twice in a Sunday league game, but yeah, Killer Kiz on the ball. Tried to cut in with his trademark step, but he can't quite beat his man and he just dispossessed. Masters getting cleared, but look at that, Rob Jard stepping in, winning the ball. What can he do here? He's looking up. Rob Jard coming down the wing and he's tried to have been stopped. He's actually knocked their player over and won the free kick. Double whammy for Masters there. Harry Grant now looking up, looking to find the GBU players, but it's dropped down to Milo. What can Milo do? He's tricking, he's fainting. He's hit the post. It's so unlucky, but it's cut back in. It's big dev. GBU have done it. 2-1, they've got the goal. Get up! Get up there! It means everything to the club. The gaff is delighted. Milo, unlucky there. What is Big Dev doing up there? I don't know. Obviously, both teams down to 10 men, but it's cut back to Big Dev and he makes no mistake. 2 on GBU. Come on! GBU take the lead in the Bucks and Bucks quarter final against Masters. It's, it's, it's hard done by Masters. I thought this was going to penalties. They put in a good shift, had a good game. But GBU, the pressure's been, been piling on and a goal's really been inevitable, to be honest. As Masters still not giving up. Froggy on the ball again, beating Rob Jarrod there. It's not easy, man, to beat either. But Masters, you've got to respect it. As I say, man, look, they're still fighting, still battling. An unlucky ball there. GBU 2-1, probably about two minutes left plus added time. Can they see this out? Can they make it through to their first semi-final, first season? As Dewart comes into the box, he's fainting. He's at the post, but it's fair to kill a kid! I wouldn't want anyone else to score today. Killer Kids letting the punters know. They've been in his head all game. Pause. They've been letting him know. But he shut him up now. He gets on the score sheet. And that's why he's the killer. 3-1 GBU now. Surely their place in the semi-final is booked. Surely the boys are making it through. Is all Froggy. Every challenge, second yellow. Already on a yellow, yeah. You just like me, son. You just like me. <laughs> you just like me, my boy. What are you saying? You felt that way. I better, I better over here anyway. Look, 3-1. It's alright. No, way better. <laughs> Big Rums there. <laughs> Letting Froggy know he felt that one. He, he knew. He knew. Head gone. Frustration. But yeah, as I say, 3-1. Masters reduced now to nine men. And the referee blows up, that's all she wrote, 3-1 GBU, and they're through to the semi-final of the Bucks and Burks Cup. Come on! Early shower, even though I didn't shower. <laughs> Should have went for an early one, but you know, we've got the job done. Well, without, without me on there, you <laughs> know what I mean? Trust the process. I don't even know where to begin. I haven't even made it. The whole pitch is empty. I haven't even made it back into the change rooms yet. I need a minute. What a game of football. 3 1 GBU. But f me, it was an absolute roller coaster. First and foremost, I just want to say to the Masters player that dislocated his knee, God bless him. I hope he's all okay. He's gone to hospital. I know he's had injuries before. So from us and everyone, I hope he has a speedy recovery. But on to the game. 
a whirlwind. I mean, I get what people say now about Masters, physical team. Um, but as I said before the game, nothing but respect, great group of guys. We're into the semi-final of the Berks and Bucks on our debut season. I'm gassed. The grit shown from our boys today um, was insane. With a 40 minute break for an, for an injury, to come back, switch it on at 1-0 down and win 3-1 is just unbelievable stuff. Bad of the match. Charlie, on his That's debut, insane. absolute weapon. What a guy. I've never seen work rate like it, honestly. On his debut to come, he was in every position on the pitch and his tempo from minute one was the same when the whistle blew at the end. Man of the match by miles, but great team effort. Absolutely delighted. Next game in the league, I'll put here because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, yeah, off to Ginger Wings, time to celebrate. I'm fucking buzzing. Get up. What happened there is, uh, <laughs> he caught me, he caught me. <laughs> I tried to catch him back. He done that. But I done the crime and I done the time, so. Hey, he ruled so, you in, you know? huh? He ruled you in. Bro, he bro, bro. Straight. No, he ruled you in, he ruled you in. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Got the job done without me on there, boys, so Master happy. I'll do man of the match quickly, um, in our normal way, but I think, it's a no-brainer, yeah. I think from energy from minute one all the way through to the night is Charlie Manning. Yeah. Steam train. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Through to the semi-final, big one, big game today. Actually, a bit of a typical GBU start, slow, letting a go early, and then struggling to get the goal back. But then, boom! As soon as one went in, the floodgates open. Even with a man down, through to the next round, semi-finals. Don't know who we got yet. Yeah. But it don't matter, because well, you know what happens. There's big teams, Babco in the competition, okay. ready. I yeah, played yeah. them a few years back, tough team. What are you yeah, saying, yeah. you fancy it though? So because obviously I'm not from these sides of the waters, in terms of the football teams, I don't really know anybody like that. All I know is that when we turn up, it's on. So, winners win, on to the next round. Shouts out Masters, everyone who came down, shouts out all the supporters. It was a proper, proper good day, I think at least 100 people there to watch. So yeah, shouts out everyone who came down to support and hopefully you can be there in the next round as well. And as I said earlier in the episode, we wish that man from Masters well. Hopefully the knee gets better soon. Thank you for watching. As I say every week, like, subscribe, turn on them notifications and we'll see you next time out. Peace.